morning. It's, uh, it's about 9.30 a.m. About to go for a little jog, man. I haven't worked out all this whole trip because I've just been editing in the mornings. Um, hopefully I'll be able to show you guys a little something on this on this run. I know I haven't been as touristy on this trip, but it's part of the sports media game. You know, sometimes you gotta, you gotta focus a little more on the media than, than the fun. One thing you gotta have when you're working out is uh, you gotta get you a knapsack. Knapsack is, is part of my everyday run attire. I used to be embarrassed to wear a knapsack, but now I'm 35, so I'm not embarrassed anymore. I wear it proudly, but, uh, but yeah, I need to get out here, run a little bit, gotta lose some weight. You know, still got uh, aspirations of being an IG model one day. But let's uh, let's see if we can show you a little bit more Belgrade during this run. See y'all in a bit. Like this is a good place to stop. This is a uh, Kyle McDonald Park. It's a it's a fortress, and uh, it was built like way back in like uh, third century BC. But um, yeah, it's a beautiful park now. It's like a big uh, tourist attraction right here on the uh, on the banks of the river. Uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of people come here, take walks, and just chill. It's pretty cool, man. It's peaceful, beautiful. You want to play? Huh? You want to play? Yeah, 200 euros. Huh? 200 euros. 200 euros? Yeah. No, do, do every 200. 200 <laughs> money? Yeah. You want to play for money? Uh, money, 200, 200. Do euro, do euro. <laughs> oh, two euros. Yeah. Oh, I don't have, uh, I don't have cash. I don't have uh, money. This uh, yeah, Nista, Nista. Yeah. After the park, I had to hurry home to shower, change, and catch a car to the Mega Basket game. My driver had the race car gloves on, but he got us there safely. Mega Basket plays in New Belgrade, so I had to take a bridge to get over there. Mega is kind of like a development team, so they play with a lot of young guys, and they produce a lot of talent that goes on to play in the NBA and EuroLeague. Nikola Jokic is probably the most well-known player that's played for them in the past, but they have many other great players that are from this region. They compete in Aba League, which is a league made of teams from the former Yugoslavian territory. Partizan also plays in this league, and I'll be watching them later on tonight. After the game, I went to get some food with my Serbian friends. This was probably one of the best meals I've ever had. I don't know the name of everything on the table, but it was amazing. We finished lunch and we got to the Partizan game early like always, and it was already packed. They were playing against a Croatian team named Sedevita, and they had players like Yogi Ferrell and Zoran Dragic. Partizan fans were in formation and ready to go, and the opening tip was the beginning of a competitive game. Zedavita <laughs> got off to a hot start in the first quarter, and it seemed like they couldn't miss. Partizan started to wake up and made it a two-point game heading into halftime. Before we get back to the game, I like to put the spotlight on Zach Lede. I was told he was superstitious and it was interesting to watch him this week. He never sits on the bench and he's normally behind it or maybe on a stool. I kind of understand it though, because your legs can get tight from sitting. He also brings a backpack with him to the court. Not sure what's in it, but I think it's basketball related. And when he enters the court at the beginning of games or halftime, it seems like he always got to touch the ball as soon as possible. Whatever he's been doing, it's been working, so I can't be mad at it. 
Back to the game. Partizan took control of the second half, and they would eventually go on to win by three points. energy in the arena once again was super dope. There were around 17,000 people at this game, which was amazing because it's not like this was a huge game. This partisan fan base and Serbian fans in general make even regular basketball games exciting and it's really cool to see. Another wild game, I'm cooked. I'm about to take it back to the crib. And uh, get some rest. Got an early, early flight, 5.50 in the morning. But, man, heck of a game. Great atmosphere. Love these games. Good morning. It's officially 3 a.m. And uh, this Belgrade trip is finally coming to an end. Um, man, a lot of thoughts, man. Uh, this trip has been, it's been great. I've had a... Uh, had a lot of dope experiences. It's been great reconnecting with people and uh, seeing both teams and the fans. Um, it's been special, man. Belgrade, super dope place. I was finally able to get some uh, some Serbian food. I hope you all got a better feel for how basketball is here in Serbia. Um, there's no better place to start than the you know Cervantes Vesta and, and Partizan. Um, they, they are the staple for Serbian basketball, and the, uh, the basketball atmosphere here is, is special. Um, but yeah, that's it. It's been a it's been a crazy ride. There's a lot of season left, uh, but I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned. Please like and subscribe. Stay tapped into what we got going on. Uh, yeah, we out.